Hello, everyone. This is Teacher Peter from Perfect English. Today, we're going to be reading the story, or not really a story, but the book called Animal Colors. Now, I say that this is not a story because a story is something like the Three Little Pigs or Snow White that has a beginning, middle, and end with characters doing interesting things. This is not a story. This is a nonfiction book. Nonfiction. Okay? It is teaching us something. So today it's going to be teaching us about animals and their colors and how they use colors in nature. So, this is a level one book, so it's pretty easy. So, it should be pretty fun to get into. This page here is called a table of contents. A table of contents tells you what pages have different things in the story. So, you can see that on page six, we will be introduced to our picture words. And then on page eight, we will be introduced to the topic of animal colors and so on. You can see we will be talking about different places mountains, jungle, desert, grasslands. And then at the end, there are some activities which you will do in class with your teacher. So I don't want to do them for you right now. So we're just going to read the story. Let's get started. These are the vocabulary words, or in this case, we're going to call them our picture words because they are the words with pictures. This is an animal called a frog. It's a little hard to see here, all right? And this is an animal called a gecko, also kind of hard to see. And the reason these are hard to see is because they're using something called camouflage. Camouflage. Camouflage helps animals to be hard to see. It helps them to hide so that they don't get eaten by predators. Those are animals that want to hunt other animals. This is an ibex. This is an insect. This is a rat. This is a snow leopard. This is a desert. Not a lot of trees in the desert, right? This is fur. Fur. Now, people don't have fur, right? We call this hair, okay? But on animals, we call it fur. So even this, see, I have this here. In Chinese, you will translate this as fur, but in English, we still call this hair. It's called facial hair. This is hair on your face. Grasslands, jungle, mountains, rock, sand, and the last word is snow snow animal colors what colors are these animals this animal is brown and green this animal is orange brown black and pink lots of colors this animal is yellow brown white and black color helps animals Color helps some animals because other animals cannot see them. The big cat wants food. Sorry, this big cat wants food. Color helps it. The animal cannot see the big cat. Color helps this little frog too. Some animals want to eat it, but they cannot see it. Look at these animal homes. What colors can you see? Mountains, jungle desert, grasslands. Two of these homes have a lot of green. What homes have a lot of green? Jungle and grasslands are very green. Now this one has a lot of brown. And this one, well, we can say that it has a lot of white and brown. If you count the sky, it also has some blue, right? In the mountains, this is a snow leopard. She lives in the mountains. The rocks are brown and black. The snow is white. This is snow. This is the animal's fur. And this is a rock. The snow leopard's fur is brown, black, and white. See that? Okay, the black spots, brown spots, and some white underneath. There is a snow leopard in this picture. Can you see her? Hard to see, but look, there she is on the right side, okay? Ibex live in the mountains too. Their fur is orange and the rocks are orange too. Some animals eat Ibex. 
Can they see the baby ibex in front of the rocks? In the jungle, lots of animals eat insects. The trees are brown and green. The insects are brown and green too. Can you see the insects? They're hard to see, but they're there if you look very carefully. Some insects look like leaves. We call them stick insects or leaf insects. In the desert, this gecko lives in the desert. It is pink, brown, yellow, orange, black, and white. What color is the sand? What color is the sand? Mostly brown, but if we look very close, we can see some black and white pieces too, right? Just like, just like this guy. In the grasslands, this cat lives in the grasslands of Africa. She can hear a rat. The brown rat is in the brown grass. Color helps all these animals. Right, there you go. So that was the reading. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it did teach you something about color can help animals. Have a wonderful day, and thank you for listening to this video or watching it. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.